Hello everyone, this is Laida Qalami from Agrimatsav Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to talk about t-test in Excel. So basically you know that t-test is used to test the null hypothesis which is that the means of the two populations are are of equal so we want to we want to see if they are equal or if they are significantly different and or in other words if the difference is significant the t-test is one of the many tests used uh, for the purpose of hypothesis testing in statistics so we have z test we have t test we have f test and all these other tests and here we are going to explain t test if you come across data analysis tool and t tests in data analysis you can see that there are three types of t test in here which one should you use in here um, I, that's what I want to explain now. So you can see there is t-test paired to sample for means and these two others are two sample assuming equal variances and unequal variances. You can see there is no paired word in these two others. So what is a paired to sample? Let's get into paint and let's imagine in here we want to have paired in here let's say we have a classroom so there's just one classroom and then we have a teacher which has a very good resume and is proved to be a good teacher okay so we get a teacher for this class and that teacher starts teaching okay we get two samples one of them is before the teaching of the teacher so that's the one oh let's get this one before the teaching and the next sample is after i'm so sorry for the um worst no, handwriting so that's two samples before and after the teaching of that teacher but we are getting these two samples from just one class one same class okay that's what we call a paired two sample in the other hand we have the two sample which is not paired anymore Okay, in here what we have is two classes. So we have class A and class B. Okay, we get samples from do from these two classes and that's the two sample t-test but this one which is one class we have some processes we get samples before the starting of that processes and then the second one after finishing the process in here we have paired two sample okay i hope you have understood um the concept so let's get back into excel so in here let's say i do not have a paired two sample we have i have two sample but in here you can see there's assuming equal variances and unequal variances so first of all the first hypothesis in here is that we know the variances so let's get into calculating the variances variance for sample one and for sample two so you can see we have unequal variances okay so let's get again to data analysis and in here we want to have unequal variances i click okay um if you if you have forgotten i should tell you that in here we want to use t-test in order to um in order to see if the means are significantly 
different. So variable one is this one as this is uh, selected before. The two, I'm doing it again so that you can see. And then it says hypothesize mean difference. So that's your null hypothesis. What is your null hypothesis? Mine is that um, the there, there is no significant difference. Okay, so I want to say the null hypothesis in here. So the null hypothesis in here is that so H0 is that the means are equal and the alternative hypothesis is that they are I'm sorry this is one and two and the alternative hypothesis is that the means are not equal okay by the way you can see that in here we have two tailed test why because we say that if this is zero we want to see whether the means are equal or not so if mean of the first population is bigger or is a smaller there's no difference we just want to test if they are equal or not so that's two tailed test okay so let's get into here so my null hypothesis is that the difference is zero or they are equal then i have checked the labels if you have the labels in the first row you should check that if not please uncheck it and then you should select your output um, place what what where do you want the output to be placed so i want it to be starting from here i click ok and then you can see the table of outputs is created here so t test two sample assuming unequal variances the mean so the um average of the two samples is shown in here so that's the simple average of these two of these two samples so that's the simple average okay you can see it in here then there's variance so also the simple variance for sample for these two samples are shown in here then the number of observations and a hypothesized mean difference which i defined as zero and then degree of freedom and then you can see the real outputs okay so the real calculations done in here the first thing is t statistic you can see t statistic in here is minus 0 0.1 you cannot understand anything from this t statistic alone you need t critical for two tail you can see t critical for one tail and two tail also p value for one tail and two tail what you need in here is t critical for two tail it's 2.01 that's used in here so let me have a better so the t critical in here is 2.01 so you have 2.01 in here and you have minus 2.01 okay so that's the t criticals and then this is zero in here okay and then the t statistic is minus one minus um 0 0.1 so the t uh, statistic drops in here minus zero one okay you know that in this area in here 
if the t statistic drops in this area you cannot reject the null hypothesis you should accept the null hypothesis but if the t statistic drops in these two areas if that's bigger than two or um smaller than than minus two in here you should reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis so let's get into here you can see that t statistic drops in this area so we so we have null as as the means are equal and the alternative one as they are different okay so in here as this drops in this area we accept the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis is accepted now so let's get back to the excel worksheet and here you can see also the p-value for two tail test in here you can also decide by comparing the p-value with the alpha so alpha in here was five percent so you compare p-value to five percent if the p-value is lower than or is smaller than five percent you can decide that the you can we can reject the null hypothesis but in here you can see that it's so much bigger than the alpha level so you cannot reject the null hypothesis and you should accept it so that's it for t-test in excel i hope you have understood the differences between the paired and the two samples and also you're familiar with analyzing the outputs of the t-test in excel so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye